you are having a good early morning like I am so far. I want to get this morning into the work, into the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and ask God to help us. Lord, we ask you this morning, God, to be our voice. God, to help us, Lord, to understand, to listen as we lift our voice and worship to you this morning, Jesus. Amen. God, let us into your, enter into your presence, God, with the word of a song, God, and let us worship you and feel your presence, Lord. I give you praise, Jesus, and I give you glory. And I thank you, Father, for all that you've done for us, God. Lord, I give you all praise and glory, and I magnify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> the purpose of morning praise, I've been thinking about this, is not necessarily so that we can come in and just sing. Um, and I know a lot of people are sacrificing and getting up at times when they don't need to get up just to be part of this. And some of you are catching it a little later in the day, and that's fine too. Um, but the purpose of it is not just to come in and sing. It's, the purpose of it is to cause us to reflect deeper into our spirit, to cause us to want more of God, and to cause us to uh, do some reflection and do some do some deep worship and that when the song is over when the, when the film is finished when the video is done and I've said goodbye that you're still in the presence of God that's the whole point the whole idea and, it, it, and I'm going to tell you up front if I miss that if all we do is get up and sing a couple of songs and pray a cute little prayer and then go back to bed then I have missed this whole thing and I missed the whole idea so, yeah, I'm feeling a little convicted in my spirit about it. Um, I'm not telling you, you need to feel convicted. I'm telling me I am. Um, because I feel like we need to be in the presence of God. It, it bothers me when faithful people walk away. It really does. Um, there's a dear, sweet, wonderful saint, Sister Peggy. Um, she'd die when she hears me say her name, she will. <clears throat> but she's up every morning listening. And I know that when she leaves her house to go somewhere, she takes her phone with her, and throughout the day she's listening again. And a few years ago, I sang a song. Uh, after church service, Sister Peggy told me this was her favorite song. I don't know if it still is, but Sister Peggy, I'm going to sing this one today because I had you on my mind. Um, after what you and I talked about on the phone. Amen. And... Amen. Tomorrow, I'll give my life tomorrow. 
more today for tomorrow for tomorrow very well might be too late Jesus said here I stand won't you please take my hand and you say I will All your needs, and you said, I know that tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, give my life tomorrow. I thought about today, but it's so much easier to say. For tomorrow, very well, might be too late. And who said tomorrow would ever come for you? Still, you laugh and play and continue on to say. Forget about tomorrow. Won't you give your life today? Please don't turn and walk away. Tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised. tomorrow very well might be again today <clears throat> there's a voice that cries out of silence Searching for a heart that will love you Longing for a child to give them their all He wants it all, he wants it all more There's a God that walks over the earth Searching for a heart that is desperate Longing for a child that will give them their all He it all. He says, love me, love me with your whole heart. What's it all today? Serve me, serve me with your life now. What's it all today? it all. He says, love me, love me with your whole heart. He wants it all today. Serve me, serve me with your life now. He wants it all today. Bow down, let go of your idols. He wants it all today. No.
said about a man and there's a lot of good that can be said about a man a good man when he is dead and when he's buried and um, you know I, there's so much that we want to control in this life or we want to see different or we want to do this we want to do that there's so much that we want assuredness of, but there's one thing that I do know for sure. If I don't know anything else, I know that I have a friend. I have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And my friend's name is Jesus. And he is there when I call him. He's there when I talk to him. I, I have a Oh, 
than a brother, yes, I have a friend that's closer than a brother, yes, I have a friend, his name is Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, God is good. If you have felt the dark of night, questioning what is out of sight, He is the answer and He is the light. today, God. 
Lord, touch us, God, deliver us, and give us hope of faith and love today, Jesus. Draw us closer to you, Jesus. Thank you for your faithfulness today, God. Give us what we need from you today, Lord. I pray, Jesus, if we don't do anything else right, let us feel the presence of the Lord, God. Some of us are feeling trapped. Some of us are feeling alone. Some of us are, some of us are just going about and things as normal. But Lord, don't let us feel overwhelmed. Don't let us feel trapped, uh, God. We have freedom in you in Jesus' name. Though we may be bound to the house right now with all this that's going on in the world, God, we still have the fellowship of one another through the wondrous technology you provided us. God, we still feel your presence as we worship God. God, even though we, we're not together in the same room, God, we're in the same heart, we're in the same family, Lord. And we know that when one member goes through something, the rest of the family goes through. So, God, our heart reaches out to those we're going through today. God, those who have suffered loss, those who are dealing with issues, God, that seem beyond their comprehension, beyond their ability to deal. God, I'm asking that you touch them today, Lord Jesus, and uplift them, I pray in Jesus' name, God. I love you and I trust you and I believe in you, Father. I give you all praise and glory. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day today. God bless you.